Nyango eh, oh eh. on the beat. I go do anything for you. Eh, hey, my baby, no cry yo. Baby, now you be my titular. Do do eh. Now for you I go cut my dada Baby oh I know say now but I know day But everything I go share Now only you I go come on day I go tackle We no go fware Call me anytime I go day day But fashion I go throw it I go pamper you, you no know, go play there. We go deliver, eh? Do do oh, it go better. Shoo shoo oh, it go better. Kuku oh, it go better. Mama oh, it go better. My baby oh, it go better. Nuru oh, it go better. Nyango eh. It go better, Sherry Coco. If anybody men I say you do do I, I go sample them not for line. I go fire them. Do do. Just with your love, girl, I don't belly fool. To every other girl, I pray fool. You didn't make me dance at Dalaku. It be like you used to do, huh? I know say now, but I know day. But everything I go share it. Now only you I go come on day. I go tackle, we no go fware. Call me anywhere, I must stay there. But fashion I go throw it. I go pamper you, you no go play it. We go deliver. Eh. Ego better, shushu oh. Ego better, kuku oh. Ego better, mama oh. Ego better, my baby oh. Ego better, nulu oh. Ego better, nyango eh. Ego better, sherry coco. Alpha Beta Records. I go make you my wife. The mother of my child, I go love you for life. Now for you, I go die. Moi je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime. Moi je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime, baby. I love you. And that is the gift that I have received as a wife from the Lord. Amen. The one thing that I do know that my husband has already uttered is that we need the grace of God. Amen. To all that he has said for 12 principles that he has given. Jesus say
in past country. But the latch is so skinny, hot. We don't just join you. The bossy, that's unfair. This is so so cool, latch.
whatever you do that of them shall be established. We are setting records for ourselves. But according to the word of God, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Lord said, For I am not the place I am, who are you, the place of good and not of evil. I want us to pray and commit everything that is about to take place today to the hands of God. Let us commit the servants of God and to the hands of the Lord. Let us open our mouth in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus.
to appreciate Jesus Christ for this Father, wonderful day. This wonderful that the word of God is about to be fulfilled in the life of our brother and our sister. We to appreciate Jesus. We to appreciate Jesus.
Next size. Not in this. Let me say something. Uh -huh. Tell us, Papa. I have never seen Brother Martin like this. Hey! 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 Matthew 19, from verse 1 to 8. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished his saying that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. Three, the Pharisee also came to him, testing him, and said to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? Question verse 4. And he answered and said to them, Have you not read? And he who made them at the beginning made the male and female five, and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall join to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Amen. Six. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Amen. Therefore, what God has joined together, <coughs> let no man put asunder. Seven. They said to him, Why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce? And to put her away. Eight. He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, permitted you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. The Lord bless his word this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will be seated. Amen. And the bone of your body is located you today. Amen. And the flesh of your flesh is located you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't be connected this morning. There is something God has for somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One more time, I want us to celebrate this great couple. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I celebrate you, our great daughter. Amen. Amen. You make us to be joyful. Yes. This is to tell all that God is doing something here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know where you came from. You overtook what was supposed to happen here before. <laughs> Amen. I come to the realize that overtaking is allowed. Amen. 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 Tell us. Because the man who is going to celebrate is not this one. Yes, sir. Amen. I hear you. It's not this one. Mm -hmm. Bye, sir. It's not this. It's not this one. She just came from somewhere like Boston over 99. Hey! That's hey. overtaking. Hey. In Cameroon, call it to car. Yes. She just came and overtake. Hey. Hey. Oh, yes. It is allowed somebody. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, grace for me. We celebrate you, woman of God. Amen. I'm speaking briefly this morning on a topic that title from the beginning. Amen. From the beginning. Look at another say from the beginning. From the beginning. Say never from the beginning. Never from the beginning. Hallelujah. Say never from the beginning. Never from the beginning. I'm speaking on a topic I title from the beginning. From the when I speak about from the beginning, it refers us to something. Uh -huh. It Amen. refers us to some way. It gives us a certain direction to a particular place. Somewhere shall from the beginning. From, from the, the beginning. beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. Every beginning has an image. Mm. Hello? Ah. Every beginning has what? An, an image. image. Has an image. Thank you, Jesus. From the beginning. <coughs> and today, I'm speaking not only to them, but I'm speaking to each and everyone that is here. Speak to us, sir. That there is a beginning Amen. to everything Amen. on the surface of the earth. Amen. Amen. So much shout from the beginning. From the beginning. Jesus, at this point in time, he just finished a message on Matthew 18. About forgiveness. <clears throat> People are asking so many questions. How many times will you forgive somebody? In Matthew 18, <clears throat> if you look from verse 21 to 35, he just finished a message. And it was explained to them that forgiveness is how many times? Seventy, 70 times seven. Now, immediately Jesus finished that message. He entered Matthew chapter 19. Adam, Papa. Now, people who could not forgive their neighbors, they heard the message. And in Matthew chapter 19, they came. Jesus healed them then. He did what? He healed them. Now, after Jesus has healed them, the Bible says, in a great multitude, there were some people called the Pharisees. Mm. It's about it. There are some people called Pharisees. Mm. Amen. Sister Mary, there are some people called Pharisees. <laughs> Amen. Hello? Hi. These are people who come to test. They came and met Jesus with a question. They not only here on earth, but also in heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But some Pharisees are going to come to test you. Mm. They are going to do what? Come they come and test. test. They are coming to test. Mm. The Pharisees also came. They did not come for healing. They did not come for what? For, for healing. They came to test. Jesus. And they asked him a question saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? Now, I want to ask you a question. Why must they only refer a man to divorce his wife? Can a wife also divorce a man? Mm -hmm. Question. <clears throat> Is it lawful for a man to divorce a wife for just any reason? Are you getting that question? Yes, Papa. For just any reason. Mm -hmm. There will come a point in time in your life where some person will be asking. Look 
at this your wife. Hello, get this microphone. There's going to be a point in time where a question will be asked. Mr. Martin, this is your, your wife you call a wife. Don't you see that she's not treating you well? They will ask you questions. Mm. You see, some years ago I remember a man who was in the church, but then I was still with him. My spiritual father put to something in Kensington. You know him. This man was single for a long time until he almost gave a certificate of singleness. <laughs> he almost received a certificate of single. <laughs> he was single for too long. Almost having gray hair of singleness. <laughs> but the day this man got married, uh -huh. that is when people begin to see that it's a virtue. Uh -huh. To look at this man, say no, this man, there is something about you. Uh -huh. And they were asking him that like, this wife that you have, don't say she's not good enough for you. Tell us, Papa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The decision you are making today, the Pharisees will ask you this. Uh -huh. They might come from your family, uh -huh. they might come from your friends, uh -huh. they might come from anywhere. <coughs> they will ask you this. Don't you see that this woman like this, the way she's treating is not good? Mm. Don't you see that this woman like this, the way he is treating is not good? They will ask you some questions. Yes, tell us, sir. It might be your best friend. Mm. They will ask you some questions. <laughs> now, your answer to them determine how long you will continue in your marriage. Amen. Mm. Yes. Mm. Tell us, Papa. I'm asking you to somebody. Amen. 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 The way you respond to the question that the Pharisee will ask you determine how the health of your marriage will look like. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Will determine the long term of your marriage. Mm. Will determine whether your marriage is sick or your marriage is healthy. The way you will respond to the questions that the Pharisees will ask. Mm. Amen. Some of them are in our homes. Uh -huh. Some of them are our best friends. Uh -huh. Some of them are our own mothers and fathers. Yes. For our own immediate family, mm. they will ask you questions. Yes. They ask Jesus a question. And Jesus answered, Have you not read that he who made them from what? The beginning. Your answer is the vehicle that will carry your marriage until Jesus comes. Amen. 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 Your answer. Amen. Tell me how healthy your marriage will look like. If you don't have an answer to some certain questions, shut up your mouth, don't say anything. I saw your husband. You were speaking to a woman. Let her let him just come back home. You, 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 you tie your bed and find you will see, see me. I see all that is coming back late every night. You tie your bed. My question is. Do you want your husband to be talking with animals? Hey, Ask them. <laughs> Must your husband speak to human beings? Hey, or maybe you have put your husband in a place that your husband was going to speak to only to men. Uh, then yeah, you must go and tell God to divide the kingdom into two. <laughs> so that men should be one side, women should be one side. Hey, First, this will come. Uh -huh. Do you see your husband? Mm. Oh. Maybe you are not here. In fact, I caught him right handed. Do you want to catch him left handed? Do you want to catch him left handed? 
standard. Was the heart of men to speak only to men? Uh -huh. I saw your wife. The way your wife was speaking to that man. Uh -huh. In fact, in that corner. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you the one who the corner? Pharisees will ask questions. Papa! Pharisees will come, I saw you. I saw your husband, I saw your wife. In that area. I saw them in that place. You are answer. <clears throat> Would you tell me how you welcome your husband back home? Amen. Um, if you receive any negative message about your wife or your husband, negatively, your actions will become negative. Mm -hmm. I have seen it. They ask me a question. Jesus said what? Have you not read? Mr. Mary, if they ask you a question, what is about to happen here today? Have you not seen? <laughs> Amen. What do you do? You show them. <laughs> you show them your hand. Have Amen. you not seen? <laughs> Even if your ring is ten rand, have you not seen? Amen. Amen. People of God, listen to me. Amen. I want to announce each and everyone here. Yes. Boyfriend and girlfriend is too good. Too sweet, too nice. They were thought of marriage. It's a battlefield. Oh, yes, Papa. Tell us. Oh, yes. If you don't know what to say, you will not continue. Jesus, they ask him a question. Jesus said, Have you not read from the beginning? From where? The from the beginning. In other words, Jesus showed them an image. What? An image. an image. Now, when the Pharisee asks you questions, go back to the first picture. Yes. That is so. Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. Go back to where? The first picture. The first picture, the first image you saw about your husband. The first image you saw about your wife, that, one, that is the only image that can keep their relationship healthy. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to someone? Amen. That is the only image. That can keep their relationship healthy. And Jesus said, He made the male and female. He said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and the two shall be joined to his father, and the two shall become what? One. one. One flesh. Marriage is not one spirit. Yes, Papa. Stop being too spiritual as a husband. Mm -hmm. Stop being too spiritual as a wife. Oh. When it comes in terms of man and woman, uh -huh. it is what? One flesh. flesh. Thank you. So we are holding on to talking to you. You're speaking into which tongues? La capa kato soko ni kaba. Show us your tongue. Go see, Papa. It is one flesh. Do you see? It is what? One flesh. Tell your neighbor it is one flesh. Stop speaking in tongues. Stop speaking in tongues. When your husband needs you. When your husband needs you. Stop speaking in tongues. Stop speaking in tongues. When your wife needs you. When your wife needs you. It is not one. One flesh. One flesh. One flesh. I will celebrate Jesus Christ. Amen. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Yes. So therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Amen. Your answer determine how many matters those outsiders will stand around your life. When you open the door, not only one will come, two, three, four, five. And when they come, they start to give you opinion. Uh -huh. And when the opinion comes, the opinion will leave you images. It's true. Directing another man. Directing another woman. This one is more than this one. This one can kiss more than this one. Uh -huh. This one can do. Listen, when the opinion enters you, they give you another direction. Uh -huh. And you have somebody. Yes. They give you what? Another 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 another. Another. <coughs> if there is a man of Ella, I told that my marriage is, is 100 percent <coughs> Go and tell that one to come out to see the man. <laughs> I need that I need that dress. I need what? That's I need that dress. 
Please, I'm looking for that man. I see my marriage is 100%. Oh. <laughs> he is a pope. Please, I need that money. Please. I'm, I need that grace. Hello? Yeah. Uh, there is no marriage! Uh, uh, that is 100%. Uh, no matter how holy you may be. No matter how righteous you may be. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together, somebody? Amen. There are no more two. There are what? One flesh. Now the fellow see the word again. They don't stop it. They want to see how you will fall. It's about it. I told you that you don't believe me. Come and see. Amen. Now you will see with your own eyes. Tell us. The holy man. Aha. Please don't walk gently. You see something wrong. I've been telling you, you don't want to believe me. Come and see. <laughs> if you are following that type of person, you also you are. You have what type of English can I be used? You are a cucumber head. <laughs> Why are you following someone to go and break your heart? Hey. Uh -huh. If you say come and see, I've been telling you. I give you permission. Any woman that will come closer to you, say, "Come and see your husband." Where he slap the woman, uh -huh. then they carry to come, come and come for the prosperity. Uh -huh. <laughs> you go tell me out. I hear you, Daddy. Mm. Yes. Mr. Matthew, any man that come and say, "Come and see what a woman is doing," slap that man. Oh. <laughs> I don't put you the wash them or wash that to my husband, to my wife, uh -huh. or to my husband. <laughs> Do what? Slap them. I help you receive glory. Yes, sir. <laughs> They came again. Now they say now. They say for any reason before. Now they say why then did Moses? Are you getting me somebody? Why then did Moses permit them? Now they are referring another man's marriage with their own marriage. Oh. Why then did they man? Did they man? And did that brother in the church divorce? If that brother is called James, am I James? <laughs> <laughs> if it's called Cornelius, am I Cornelius? <laughs> if it's called the Vocalist, am I the Vocalist? Huh? Why are you comparing the Vocalist with me? Fire! <laughs> you see, why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? Never you compare another man's marriage with your own marriage. Yes. Amen. Are different from others. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Brahmati, you are different from another person. Oh, yes. Sister Marie, you are different from another person. Yes. Amen. Don't compare my marriage with your marriage. Mm. If you see me, I'm walking on the road, I'm kissing my wife. Mm. Don't go and imitate it. Too. It's true. Ah. Because your husband may be a sacred man like you, but in the room. Uh, ah. Amen. Ah. Uh, Are you hearing me? So. There are some men who don't like to kiss on the road, like me. Thank you, sir. I'm not, sir. Not I'm not going to kiss on the road. Don't uh -huh. even Of your heart, 
Jesus means say because of unforgiveness. Because of what? Because of unforgiveness. You are never divorce the wife. Because of unforgiveness, you are never divorce the husband. Therefore, my own, there is an image called the beginning. I am a man. No matter what you do to me, I will forgive you. Jesus said, from the beginning, it was not so. When your heart is so strong to forgive the other person, love flies out through you. When your heart is so tough, because the person has done what nobody has done on earth, come and show me. If your husband has done what nobody has ever done on earth, please, I want to cancel that couple. I read them. If your wife has done what nobody has ever done, bring them. Bring them. Because of the hardness of your heart. That's why Moses permitted it to happen. Because you refuse to forgive. That's why Moses said, you can go. You can divorce. But from the beginning, it was not so. Today, let this image remain before you. Amen. Amen. That what you are doing today, you are fulfilling the scripture. Amen. Amen. From the beginning, a man shall leave his father and mother, and the two shall become one, one flesh, flesh, not one spirit. Yes, Papa. One flesh. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to look at somebody say, You must learn how to forgive one another. You, you must, must learn how to forgive one another. No matter what has happened. No, no matter what has happened. Because the first thing they came with the question, say for any reason, any reason, which means they were looking for just a point. Are we together, somebody? Yes. Now get this clearly as we are running up. Marriage, as you all know, it is an agreement between two parties as they are here today. Amen. For you to understand the power of marriage, I want you to just look. Please look. Hear me. So we are talking about you go give fight your husband, you give fight your wife. Uh -huh. Listen, 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 listen. For you to understand the power of marriage, look how beautiful she looks like. Oh. Amen. 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 I share you, sir. Amen. 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 Oh. I mean, look, if you saw Sister Marie last, like on Sunday last uh -huh. week. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My sister. Oh. Can you look at her very well? Yes, I have. Look, look, your husband. Mama Princess. <laughs> if you want to have a look something, if you don't want to, if you, if you don't really put that on her, you begin to see something now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, this is an example that you need to get married. Amen. The importance of marriage changes life. Amen. What are you doing? Is it thick in here? It can just it. It can just stop. Uh -huh. Yes. If you don't understand, if you don't understand, I want you to see something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When this man came to all that of prosperity ministry, that's the whole thing, Papa. Papa. Yeah, <laughs> you see, I look, look at him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's fetish. Uh -huh. If you are to look at this man, uh -huh. you are uh -huh. shining. Uh -huh. Even if someone was shining, you must wear jackets. Hey. To get married, <laughs> <laughs> you are still joking. You are still playing. <laughs> you see, wearing jacket now. Mr. Martin, mm -hmm. 
You are getting married today to this beautiful angel. Amen. Hey, yeah. oh, I don't think you marry her to be only in the kitchen. Now, Sherry Coco. <laughs> so the day you come home, you don't see food. Mm -hmm. You should not slap her. Yes. Uh -huh. It's why you need to go. Mm -hmm. Because marriage is an agreement of two people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Of legal rights mm -hmm. and shared obligation. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. so so if you come home and your wife has not prepared food for you, uh -huh. your hands are not cut. Amen. That's it. Tell, tell, tell more about that. Your hands are not prepping. Mm -hmm. If she has been preparing food for you all the time, mm -hmm. and then one day you come, there is no food. Don't mm -hmm. complain. Uh -huh. Thank you, Tata. There is something that snake has spoken to her. Snake. Yeah. Yeah. Snake. Therefore, they say, I saw you. I to her so Yes, sir. You use that method. Don't worry. Go to the kitchen. Prepare food. Ah, my wife, come. Uh -huh. Thank you. Come, let us eat together. Uh -huh. That's all. Marriage is an agreement of legal rights and shared obligation. Mm. What she cannot do, you can do it better. Yes. What it man must do. Are you hearing me? Mm. It's an agreement of legal rights. All of you have the right to ask one another question. Mm. Are we together, somebody? Hey, hey, hey. So if your wife cannot put food on your table, don't worry. It also happened to Adam. Mm. Amen. The day Adam left, he was sitting somewhere, snaking. Uh -huh. He said, ah, did God say you should not eat all this food? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that you did not cook food. If you not cook that day, the Adam beat if. Uh -uh. No. no. So people are going to listen to me. If your wife cannot do what she needs to do, there is a communication somewhere. Uh -huh. You do what she has failed to do. Yes. Amen. Come up where she could not. Very public to each and everyone. Mm. Yes, Papa. Even those who are not here, they are watching somewhere. It's true. It's true. That there is something happening up here. Mm. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Even those enemies of progress that are watching, they will listen. <laughs> yes. But I'm happy that they watch. Amen. Because Amen. something is about to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Marriage is an agreement where two people make their relationship public. Mm. Strong. And what? Permanent. Amen. Not, not separate. What? Permanent. Today we are going to make this thing what? Permanent. Amen. What is going to happen? It's going to be permanent. Amen. 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 Whether you like it or you don't like it, it's going to be permanent. Hallelujah. So that will just will back me up. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It takes work. My sister, it takes work, my brother. Amen. To have a healthy relationship. Mm. Yes. Amen. It takes work. Yes. Some of us have been only for, only for 10 years. I can tell you, great head job Peter when I got married. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I married, there was no great head. Me, I got married. <laughs> <laughs> I got my head to make sure you don't see me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Marriage takes work. Amen. It takes commitment. It takes love. It takes respect to keep a healthy marriage. Amen. There's a lot of things to be done. Amen. Are we together? Amen. I don't want to break down this one. Twelve things you must know about marriage. Uh -huh. Twelve things you must know about marriage. Maybe you know some. You don't know some. Twelve things. I want to bring twelve things. Number one thing about marriage that you need to know as you're getting married today. Heaven is your backup. Amen. 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 Heaven is what? Your backup. Welcome to Jesus. Woo! Heaven is your backup. Let me tell you where heaven is your backup. In Genesis chapter 20, from verse 1. And made a man called Abimelech and lied. He said, Sarah is my sister. 
And Abimelech went and got Sarah. She bring that woman. She looks so beautiful. And when Abimelech took Sarah, God came that night. He said, Abimelech, you are a dead man. You are what? A dead man. You are what? A dead man. Abimelech, you are a dead man because of the woman you have taken. Listen to this place. Because of the woman you have taken. For she is a man's wife. God said, because of the woman. Woman does not have too many importance. But because it's a wife, mm -hmm. a man, when you are a wife material, heaven back you up. Amen. When you are a wife material, heaven does what? Back you up. God said, Abimele, you are a dead man. Return that woman back. I pity you women who are following their husband up and down, checking their phones up and down. You don't, yeah. you, you don't know what heaven is doing. Uh, uh, tell, uh, them. tell us, Papa. Your husband call A, you want to know. Your husband call B, you want to know. You don't know what heaven is doing. Tell us, sir. Heaven is your backup. Yes. Hallelujah. No matter what is happening, oh, yes. heaven is your backup. If your knees cannot go on the ground, uh -huh. heaven will not fight for you. It's true. Hey. Not take advantage over the man. Uh -huh. No matter if their the wife is not good again today, and that person should not come inside. Because if the man comes, God already knows you are a dead man. Uh -huh. Many of us are pushing other people's husband, other people's wife. We are dead already without even knowing. Papa, tell us. Oh, I want to pray this prayer. Pray this prayer, Papa. If you are ready to catch it, you catch it. Amen. If you are a married man in this place, mm -hmm. and any woman, or any man yeah. is pursuing your spouse. Ah. May God has scattered them. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two, Satan is your background. Yeah. Yeah. Satan is what? Your your background. Background. He will put you down. Uh -huh. When I'm about to leave the marriage, let me say I'm not working. Whoa. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Uh -huh. Say the devil is roaming around. Like a wounded lion seeking for Mr. Martin uh -huh. to break his marriage. Papa. Seeking for Sister Marie mm. to break his marriage. To break their own marriage. Yeah. 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 Today, as you put the ring in your finger, mm. any man that will try to see the color of it. Amen. 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 Number three thing was about marriage, study one another. Uh -huh. Because the both of you are come from different backgrounds. Yes, Papa. Study one another. In other words, Sister Marie, you need to know the weakness of your husband. Mm. You need to know the strength of your husband. Mm. You need to know her weakness mm. and her strength. So that the day you see the weakness, you remember inside the weakness there is this strength. Amen. 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 Because if you only know my strength without my weakness, the day you see my weakness will run away. Uh -huh. You begin to see me a song. I never knew you would slap me this way. <laughs> I never knew you would slap me this way. I never knew you would slap me this way. Look at my face. Horse me to come. <laughs> you begin to see me a song. Are you hearing me somebody? Yes, sir. Study one another. Know their weakness and their strength. I will go far. Amen. Are you hearing somebody? Amen. Amen. The thing that is keeping me in my marriage today because I know the weakness of my wife. Amen. 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 Powerful. And if you marry a woman who does not talk, please bring the woman to me. Your man is delivered. <laughs> if you marry a woman who does not talk, please, I need that kind of woman. The woman is delivered. Uh -huh. Because any woman must talk. Because she was too talkative, that's why it's still had an advantage. Mm -hmm. Women must talk. Amen. So if they talk, understand that is one of their weaknesses. Amen. Number four. Never make some vital decisions alone. Amen. I want to go and visit my mother. Did you tell your wife? Uh -huh. I want to send money to my brother. Did you tell your wife? Mm -hmm. Did you tell your husband? If you make any decision alone, vital decisions alone, your wife will not trust you. 
Your husband will not trust you. Never make any vital decision. In love. Whatever thing you want to die is vital. Call your wife, call your husband, sit together, discuss about it. Amen. Amen. If your husband says no, try to find out the reason why he said no. Amen. If your wife says no, try to find out the reason why he said no. It does not mean that God has made you the head. You should just be like, 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 like a goat. No. Understand one another. Don't make any vital decision alone. And the Lord will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Know and occupy your office. Know your office, occupy your office. Amen. You will know that I am a wife. He is my husband. As I'm under him, there's somebody also that he is under. Know your office, occupy your office as a wife. Amen. With his husband, you occupy your office as a wife. Bible say what? No. Wife. Submit to your own, your own, not your pastor. Your own. Uh -huh. So women they submit to their pastor more than their husband. It's true, Papa. Tell no. us. Bible says submit to your own husband. Amen. Your own. Not to another person's husband. Uh -huh. If you submit to another person's husband more than your own husband, heaven will beat you. Uh -huh. Know your office as a wife. Know your office as a husband. The moment the two of you know your office, you operate very well in your office. Operate very well in your office. Any time Satan will come, Satan will see a different thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan will see something Amen. different. Amen. Know your office, operate in your office. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number six, be transparent to one another. Be transparent to one another. another. Transparency is one of the only sustainable methods that your marriage can go far mm. when you are transparent. Yes. The reason why some women they believe what they hear is because they have, they, they, when, when your husband is answering the call, you will spy the woman is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> You are not transparent. <laughs> when you start to do such a thing, anything your wife will hear, anything your husband will hear, they will believe it. Because why? You are not transparent for who? If you are transparent, you will realize that whatever thing your wife will hear or your husband will hear, you will keep it out. Amen. Transparency is very important in your marriage. Number seven, build trust. Build what they call trust. Build it. I don't say make it. Build it. You need to come to a point in that I know my wife, I know my husband. Even though what they are saying, I don't think it's true. <laughs> it's not my husband. Even though I'm seeing them on the bed, it's not my husband. It is not my wife. I know my husband. I know my wife. My wife cannot do this. You are seeing it before you that it is your husband. It is not my husband. It is not my wife. I refuse it. You build trust. You feel what they call trust. Amen. When you hold on the kid, you hear such a confession. Uh -oh. You are caught him right handed. Uh -oh. Even left handed. Uh -oh. Or side handed. Uh -oh. Any handed you want uh -oh. The moment you will just see the action. Uh -oh. I never know you will forgive me. Uh -oh. That evil heart will disappear. Woo! That heart will disappear. Amen. Build trust. Amen. When you build trust in your wife, you build trust in your husband. 
Listen to me. There is nothing somebody will tell you enter this ear. Tell us how. Enter this side. Uh. And enter, it will be like a ball. Bounce and go. Oh, Jesus. Bill Cross. Bill Cross. Why Nigeria is killing many marriages today because there is no trust in the marriage? Bill Cross. Number nine. Create time to pray and study the word of God. Most often together. Create time to pray and study the word of God. Most often together. Number ten. Be a good listener. Be what? A good listener. Be a good listener. No matter how you talk like a parrot, sometimes try to listen. <laughs> try to do what? A good listener. Listening is very important. When you listen, you will learn. Oh God. If you don't listen, you will not learn. I can make a mistake. And I want to explain myself to you. Uh -huh. If you don't want to listen to me, you will not know where the error comes from. Tell us, Papa. You must be able to listen in order to do what? To learn. Hallelujah. Amen. The best, the best method of listening, of learning is what? Yes, listening. Yes. Communicate clearly and often. Communicate clearly and, and often. Yeah. It's not only with your phone. You have gone out the whole day. You come back to sit down. <laughs> your wife is there with a the child. Taking care of the child, but no food. They put your food, you are no food. However, you know it, you know, I don't want to finish this message. <laughs> 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 As you finish to eat the lesson, you are sleeping. <laughs> the next day, you come the same thing. <laughs> The next day you come with the same thing, you are breaking the marriage. Mm. You are doing what? Breaking the marriage. You are breaking the marriage. Mm -hmm. A healthy marriage is all about communication. Mm -hmm. Often communicate. Mm -hmm. Whenever the two of you have gone out, you come back home. Make time you communicate. How was your day? Mm -hmm. How did things go your way? Oh God. When your husband does not have the boldness, to share to you his pain. When your wife does not have the boldness to share to you her pain, it means your husband or your wife does not trust you. It means your communication is poor. Uh -huh. The more you communicate, the more healthy your relationship will be. Amen. The more others will see and say, no, this family is a different family. Thank you, Jesus. Communication is very, very important. Hallelujah, Lord. When you like to communicate with your husband, you like to communicate with your wife, Satan will take advantage. Just like Adam. Tell us Adam went somewhere one day Tell us without telling the one where he was going to and snake entered the house. Mm. When snake entered, what happened? Ah! He took advantage. He took advantage over Eve. And what happened again? It affected even the husband. Yes. So if there is no good communication, snake will enter and will affect the both of you and even your children. Yes. So there will be very good communication between all of you. Can we clap for Jesus? I'm saying this because I want you to learn to get this image and go with this image. Communicate most often and clearly. Hallelujah. Amen. The last one, number 12. Appreciate one another and have a love meal. Appreciate one another and have a love meal. Appreciate so is the master builder. Appreciation is a spirit builder. No matter how brave a person may be, but if you can just say, ah, I appreciate you of who you are, you build the spirit of that person. You do what? You build you the spirit of that person. Of that person. You learn to appreciate. Amen. You come home, you cook food like my wife, you should cook food, when she will bring it to me, I say, ah, there's too much salt in this food. Mm. Ah, this one is too nice. Instead of going to appreciate half a bar, I complain for appreciate. Please don't be like me. Thank you, Lord. Don't be like me. Even there's too much salt in the food. Ah! This food, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This one is the best food I've ever seen. In fact, if you have a love meal, because, because what I've seen about the two of you is going to change now. Amen. Amen. 
I'll just see this. I want to say, Martin, Martin, no, no more Martin. Uh-huh. There must be a love name for you. There must be what? A love name. Marie, why are you? I'm in the church, you're not there. No, no more Marie. Uh-huh. There must be what? A love name. Hallelujah. Amen. When did the one God do something like that? Ah! My banana. <laughs> It does not have English language. <laughs> In fact, you are not doing the Lord. Come and fix me. You call that love me. Hello? You call the love me. Are we together? When you call that love name, listen to something. When you call the love name, when your wife comes and she does you one spoon. Wow. Please don't bring me small noodles or small salt. Hello? On Wednesday, we're talking about people's skills. By so doing, the marriage will keep on being held. Just because of that. Now your wife will bring food. I do want purpose. Not to keep me. Do you want to keep me? Next time you can be my one of the woman not cooking. Because the first one she gave me did not appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to give you small things to eat. You say there's too much service. You're not even that. <laughs> you are not even grateful that there is something in the house. Mm. Don't you understand that our process is the prayer of South Africa? Mm. That is that difficult. Mm. People are going to listen to me. A healthy marriage is all about appreciating one. Yes. All of us we have one mistake or the other. Yes, we are not one hundred percent. We have mistakes. Yes. We have weaknesses. Yes. We have strength. But always look at our weakness and find the strength. Yes. Appreciate one another and have a love need. That name. People are going to say, I'm standing on the altar of God. Yes, Papa. I'm married for 10 years plus today. Woo! There is one thing before I got married. Yes. I met with my wife. Yes. Sir. I said, when we get married, they knew we are going to be called now. I said, it's angel. I hear you. Yes. It's what? Angel. Don't ask me an angel of light or angel of darkness. <laughs> angel. It's called what? angel. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. 10 years plus now. Yes, Papa. And from that day, before we got married, yes, sir. I've been calling her angel. Yes. I've been calling her angel. Man of God, even if I am angry or my wife is angry, still call angel. we still call angel. <laughs> At that time, for how many years Not too much that we have been angel. together? Angel. The only time my wife addressed me, not by my name, Obasi. <laughs> But not to call my name. Mm. Prophet, before she realized, angel, angel. <laughs> Lovely. When she began to call me angel, I start to feel. Hallelujah. 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 Mr. Martin, you know I'm speaking to all of you. Amen. You see, love me. No matter how angry you may be, if your wife would just come and just call you that name, banana. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I don't have much to say to God. We are here because God has done something. This is a very good day for us. Hallelujah. 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 Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. You will see how your marriage will continue. And other people will desire to get married because of the way it means. And that person will not fix that bed for you. Yes, for pastor. It is only you. Please, I'll be happy as a father.
to pray to God to bring them more marriages in this house. Amen. If I can just see you people in the spirit doing your possible best. Amen. Amen. As you live in harmony, you live in peace, the God of this commission Amen. will pack you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You that you have never gotten married and you want to get married, connect to what is happening around you. I want to see the pastors. The pastors should come. We are doing this before open heaven today. Amen. In the presence of you. I want to take you very serious. Because anyone that be fighting marriages, when they try this one, the air shall swallow me. Amen. Amen. We are going to start right now. Whatever you are, I want you to just stretch forth your hands today before we call the fourth. Our dad is also just coming. Can we celebrate our hands? Amen. I want us to pray for this family. That as God has done it for them, may God make the marriage to be healthy. Amen. That nothing will break this marriage. Amen. Amen. If you want to see the best in this marriage, open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says a man shall leave his father and mother 
and shall cleave to the wife, and the two shall become one flesh. one flesh. In other words, this man is coming to take. Are you, do you know this man? Yes, sir. Do you know him? Yes. Are you sure you want to give your daughter to him? I want to give him with all boldness. With all boldness. Yes, Thank you very much. God bless you. And the person are going to pray for the two, two minutes. Amen. 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 Two, two minutes, we just pray for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I start by greeting our Father, Prophet Prosperity, of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I greet our Mama, Prophet Zufa, of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Papa, Papa, Abdul, we greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I greet our pastor, Pastor Marco Mushanga, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for this wonderful moment we are standing here. It is not because we want to be, but it is by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our brother and our sister, they are here standing before us today. They are joining together no more as a sister and a brother, but as a husband and wife. Amen. We are standing here, all of us also, we are not standing speaking to you things that we can say that we have heard, but we will be speaking to you about the things that also we have passed through. Amen. Amen. Marriage is not a joke. Our Papa was already telling you that from today you will see the pharmacies that will come to your life. There are already many out there today that are saying already, God forbid, not these two, they will not join together as a husband and wife. There are many today already, they are already saying that you will not last one month. But as you live here today, we pray that as you go out today, you will not be listening to any negative words. Because from today, if what you have been hearing before it is positive, today you have just frustrated the enemy to come with many negative words. But we are here to lift up our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. As the word of God said, let no one separate the two that the Lord has joined together. Anyone that will arise to separate you from today, we decree and declare that for your sake they shall fall down in the name of Jesus. Yeah. From today, any voice that will arise and say, God forbid, over our dead body they will get married. We decree and declare the earth shall open and swallow them for your sake in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We decree and declare any negative voice that will arise against this marriage today. That voice be unified by the voice of yes. God in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, wherever you go, anywhere that they will lift their voice and gather against you, that voice from today will already declare that voice silence in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree and declare any negative voice that will come against you, against your marriage, against your family. That voice will not stand, but it shall continually to fall and fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We declare from today this marriage blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree and declare this our year to occupy and reign in glory, as you have already occupied and reign in glory in your marriage today. So it shall continue by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today we decree and declare turn around in every area of your life, physically, spiritually, materially, morally. So it shall continue in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We decree and declare by the grace of God, this marriage shall not fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today we declare this marriage forever, not even death will separate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare this marriage blessed in the name Amen. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Celebrate grace in the house, our Father, Prophet Prosperity, Papa Abdul, my Papa, I greet you, my father, in the house of God. I also salute our pastor, Pastor Mushanga, in the house, and our daughter, Pastor Susan. You are greeted in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't have much to say. I believe my husband has said it all. That is the, the grace, the glory, and that is the gift that I have received as a wife from the Lord. Amen. The one thing that I do know that my husband has already uttered is that we need the grace of God. Amen. To all that he has said for 12 principles that he has given unto us, we need the grace of God. 
And I pray today for this marriage and this couple, our son, our daughter today, that the grace of God that they need in all areas and aspects of their lives shall continue to manifest and flow in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say you will not lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Under the grace of my husband, from oh, yes. the you will not fail in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not back down in Jesus' name. Amen. And you will never retrieve in this marriage in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I believe in our marriage we had a storm. And in the storm that came in ours, in I think it was our first year, before our first year came, that storm, storm came and wanted to take this marriage out. But I believe God sent us to help us. He sent us divine helpers, yes. destiny helpers, motivators. He sent them across our path. And I pray for the grace today that they will locate you in any storm that you find yourself. You will receive the grace to locate your helpers in Jesus' name. Amen. I say from today, mentally, physically, relationally, interpersonally, psychologically, monetarily, you shall be blessed in all areas. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. as I cover the prayers and cover you and this home, this marriage and your family in the covenant blood of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus, and I appreciate our prophet, our mama, our pastor Susan. First time also to know our dear here. May the Lord bless you today. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. We bless you for this accomplishment. We give you all the glory, my Lord of God. I pray for your children, my Lord. Today, as they have taken this step, my Lord, to come forward. My Lord, to be obedient to your word. I pray that whatever King of glory that is written about marriage, let it be fulfilled in their lives yes. in their own Jesus. Amen. I pray today that whatever book that has been closed, oh God, because of this step that they have taken, may that book be opened from today. Amen. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray, Lord, that let that be an angel that will take care of them in this marriage. Amen. But every weapon that will be drawn, my Lord, to break this marriage, let that angel king of glory fight for them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare today that wherever others have failed, you shall not fail. Amen. I declare that this marriage is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every scarcity that you'll be experiencing in your relationship, Today, because you have taken the step to come together as one flesh, I declare that scarcity is over. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I speak money in your marriage. Amen. I speak provision in your marriage. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I declare that your children shall lack nothing. Amen. And I pray that let God bless you with more beautiful children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. those that have rejected you, because today you are getting married, they shall accept you from today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let new doors be opened from today. Amen. Let there be new opportunities. Amen. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May that thing that you have never seen before, that you have been praying for it to happen, yes. because of this journey that you have taken today, May it take place in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May heaven be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I'm going to be praying for you. But you understand that you are getting into His holiness. Amen. That is the reason why we are in church. Amen. Yes. Because church wedding is not about money. Many people are afraid to get married in church. But that is where you get consecrated. Mm -hmm. And you now find yourself in the arms of God and your marriage is protected. Yes. For the marriage that is found on the foundation of the Lord is a solid marriage. Yes. And I pray that as you we gather here to celebrate this great wedding. Amen. Because I see everyone is looking cold. This is a great wedding. It's a union. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a coming together of saints Amen. to bless a wedding. Yes. Amen. The Bible says that therefore Jesus also took some time out of his career to go to Canaan to bless the wedding. Amen. And I pray that, okay, as we stand here today, you understand the principles. I will not be talking a lot. When 
the woman that fell in the garden and they became punished when it was time for them to walk out and the Lord has given the verdict and everything that pertained to their sin. The Bible does not explain, but you could feel that the man took the arm of the woman and said, we are moving into another destiny now. Not a destiny that was just common, but we are going to be suffering together. So they were moving together. I didn't say because it's you, this woman. It's you who has made this thing to happen. You have cost me a lot. He said, come, let us go. Because he understood the principle that this marriage is founded on love and on the basis of my bond, bond to bond and flesh to flesh. Amen. And therefore they walked into their destiny now and they began to walk till the soil suffer in a labor and the woman gave birth to children. So as you go through and see Christianity, marriage, Christian marriages is not about gold. It's not that we are going to harvest today, but you're going to stick to the principles of God so that you'll be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And to you, my daughter, there's something I want to tell you today and just pray. When I tell her, I might not even pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when news break in the White House that Bill Clinton slept with the secretary, everyone was waiting because they knew that Madam Clinton is going to divorce the husband. Mm -hmm. And media was watching. But then, the, the, the news was no news. Because any time when they came out in public, the woman held the hand of the husband. Amen. Because the vision was not on the woman, the vision of ruling the state yes. was in the man. Mm -hmm. And this was a stood firm behind the, the man. And in public, they were not quarrel but in the how the quarrel over because it was an abomination to sleep a woman in the office of the people of america but because the woman was there the man found himself stronger let me tell you the carrier of your vision the carrier of your marriage is your husband he said therefore the man shall be the head of the family Amen. if you fail this mission my daughter you have failed in life Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore that gave an opportunity for Madame Clinton to stand a presidential candidate because her vision, if she loved Clinton, she would never have been mentioned everywhere again. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But then she became a wonderful woman until she left office. She stood because of the vision of God upon that man. Amen. So shall he be with you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Because we understand that you are the one. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And you are the carrier of the house, the one who is going to bear the burden of the children, and the upbringing and the care of the house, and everything that concerns the house of God, making sure that everything works in the direction of God. Amen. I pray and I bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree the favor of God upon you. Amen. I pray that the power of God will usher you to a new life. Amen. And that when you walk and sleep, your marriage bed shall be protected. Amen. Let your marriage be in the holiness of God. Amen. That in the days of come, the pastor will not be invited to come and judge and separate, but we will, we will be able to celebrate many more anniversaries. Amen. Yes. I decree it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed and I am humble. Thank you so much. I will come for Jesus. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. We are moving to the right direction. Are we ready, somebody? Oh, yes. Somebody, are not ready. You are too quiet. Ready. Are we ready, somebody? Oh, yes. <laughs> Please look at each other. Yes. Yeah. 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 Get married to uh -huh. <laughs> Please, I need a microphone. I need a microphone. I need a mic. Alex, I beg. Please, Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Mr
Okay. Must be close. Yo, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Is this the man you want to get married to? Yes, Papa. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, Papa. You know, look at him. Look at him very well. Mr. Martin, turn around. Hey! 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 Yes, Papa. Look at her. <laughs> Did you look? Hey, hey, hey. Look at the woman. Is she the woman I want to get married to? Yes, Papa. Please, don't. 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 Where are the rings? Ah. I'm over there. Wait, see. What the rings? It's full oil. Inside the rings, no? Yeah. Hold the basket. Hold the basket. Hold the basket. Hold the rings. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree the favor of God and the love of God and all that pertain to the sacrament of marriage to these rings, which are symbolic of your love and an exchange of vows. I pray, Father, that as we release the power upon them and these rings are one Lord, they shall represent one another in their heart, not only in the physical but spiritually. We pray for connectivity, Lord, that none of them shall take up this ring for the purpose of infidelity. Oh, yes! I decree, Father, that as these rings are worn, Lord, they will now announce them as husband and wife. Yes! And from there, Lord, they will identify the woman and the man because of what he carries. Amen! Therefore, Lord, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen! Amen! Amen. Maria is taking life in order of a person. Life! Mm. Uh -huh. I was there. Are we ready? Oh, yes. 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 Uh -huh. The 17th, the 17th of, June of June 2023. 2023. Call your full names. Oru Marie Abo. I take you. I take you. Call his full names. Eta Martin Oru. As my lawful. As my lawful. Wedded husband. Wedded husband. For good. For 
good. For better. For better. For best. For best. For bad. For bad. For worse. For worse. For worst. For worst. Until Jesus Christ comes. Until Jesus Christ comes. Today. Today, I give myself, I give myself and my love, and my love for, you. for you. From today, from today you are mine. You are mine. I, I am yours. I am, and I am yours. I am yours. I am yours. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's your turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so from today. The 17. No, the 17. Man. As a man, we are not getting. Uh -huh, we are not getting. <laughs> <laughs> put it, put it <laughs> what do you you? It's like it's not Very exciting. So I can take my daughter. It's hungry. It's hungry. It's hungry. It's hungry. It's hungry. Be free. Say so as from today, as from today, the seventeenth, the seventeenth of June, of June, twenty twenty three, twenty twenty three. I, I call your full names. Eta Martin Oru. Uh -huh. I take you. I take you. Call a full name. Oru Marie Komo. As my wedded. As my wedded. Lawful. Lawful wife. Wife. For good. For good. Better. Better. And best. And best. For bad. For bad. For worse. For worse. And for worse. And for worse. Until Jesus comes. Until Amen. Jesus comes. Today. Today. I give myself. I give myself. And my love. And my love for you. For you. From today. From today. You are mine. You are mine. I am yours. I am yours. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come back, Jesus. Amen. Can we come for Jesus? Hey. 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 Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I will not fail you. I will not fail you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So with this ring, with this ring, call your name. With this ring, I, I call your full names. I seal my love. I seal my love with this vow. With this vow. He's not looking. He's not looking very well. He's not looking, Papa. He's not looking. I don't see you very well. Please, please. What? 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 Hold this in. So before you go to put the. Uh huh. Put the house now. Please, I want you to repeat. You are not serious. Oh my God. I'll take the ring back. Look at that. 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 Look Look at your banana now. Your plantain. All this pledge, all this pledge, I pledge to you. I pledge to you. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. With this ring, with this ring, I, I, Mr. Call your name. I, Mr. Enter Martin Oru. Uh -huh. I seal my vow of love. I seal my vow of love to you. To you, call her name. I seal my vow of love to you, Sister Oru. <laughs> Amen. 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 In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Can we come for Jesus Christ? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
The Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. With this ring, with this ring, I, I call your name. Oru Mari Abo. Uh -huh. I seal my love. I seal my love. With this ring, uh -huh. with this ring, as a vow to you. As a vow to you. Call his name. Ethan Martin Oru. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Son. Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. From today. From today. By the grace of God. By the grace of I will God, love you. I will love and you. Cherish you and cherish you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh -huh. Put the ring. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can come close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, Paul, you can come close. Uh -huh. Don't hit us. Hey! 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 Oh, my God. 
and need that table. That's small, that's time, that's small stamp. Yeah, that is it. Good. Can you drink that table? Please put two cheers. Thank you. 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 The 17th day of June 2023. We declare you under open heaven. Amen. Husband and wife. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want your, 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 best, your father or your mother to stand by your side. Of prosperity ministry, it's a marriage certificate. So, as you are signing this thing, I don't want to hear feet. <laughs> Any day I'm coming to your house, I want to see your teeth, even when they saw no song. <clears throat> if any day mm -hmm. I come to the house, I want to see something different. <laughs> Today from author of prosperity ministry amen a marriage certificate they have signed their life to god mm. on that open heaven yes. and with this certificate they have a backing of continually amen. Amen. amen i want to give the honor to our father to hand this certificate And we are blessed with my Amen. Pray that the blessing that God has put upon me and my entire household in fruitfulness and everything that pertain, pertain to marriage will trans be transferred to you. <coughs> and your life will be great lives that will need to be celebrated in the in the in the union yes. together. Mm -hmm. And I pray as I give you this marriage, I'm not just this, I'm not just giving, I'm giving. Yes. May God lead Amen. and continue to love you. Can we celebrate Jesus? 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 
want to thank each and everyone who has made it possible to be here. And we pray that as you have celebrated with this family, so may you also celebrate anymore, Jesus. Amen. If you are here waiting for your own marriage, you are looking for the bone of your bone or the flesh of your flesh, or you don't have the resources to do whatever you are supposed to do, may God provide them for you. Amen. 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 As you leave this place, may joy continue to be your portion. Amen. May celebration continue to be your portion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you are shining, you know. I don't even know what to even to say. You know, uh, it's too much. Yeah, man. It's too much. Say something. It's only for Papa in the house. So I thank everyone that has made it to be here today with us. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. So I want to thank the house. I want to thank everyone, especially Papa and Mama in the house. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I thank everyone. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Mommy, I tell you, teacher, I can be to Papa. He has said his own. He's thanking us and thanking God for our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The testimony. Hallelujah. I just want to thank everyone that made it possible to be here. Thank our great prophet in the house. Amen. Our great Hallelujah. prophetess. Hallelujah. Papa Adu, you are too much, Papa. Thank you yes. very much, Papa. I appreciate your presence. Hallelujah. Pastor Suzanne, you are too much. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can you celebrate Jesus? Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for celebrating all this day. Man of God, you are welcome, Papa. Amen. We appreciate you. Amen. <laughs> our brother. You are welcome also. Even if I don't know you, but today we met. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome. Amen. Our drinking elder, our great deaconess, our brothers, Power. brothers, uh, brother Alex. Amen. This flower will go to you. Supporting, hallelujah. Amen. Please, we should make sure to, all of us to come together as APM, as those people that we invited. Hallelujah. Amen. Come and join us as we celebrate this day. Door. Please, when you are coming, you must look for two pits. Please, it's only that one can help you. If you are sleeping, just put it under your eye. Hey. So that we sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. Papa, but I'm sorry, you I don't know how tomorrow service will move like if I say it's day door. But I don't want to take your service, hallelujah. For APM, they can see as soon as possible because of the service tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Papa, we appreciate one more. We are very happy. As we are going, we are going with happiness. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Papa, for this privilege. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let us celebrate them. Say Microphone, if it was MC, hallelujah. Amen. Because they are done it all. Can we celebrate them as they are going on? Let us celebrate them with a song. Can I have our choir here? As we are going to celebrate them off with a song, hallelujah. Yes, our yes. choir, can we come to us, hallelujah?
them say, them tell you say, say you can never be the one. But God say, make I tell you say, say now you him choose in one month, in one week. You will sing a new song in two days, a lesser than you will hear. Congratulations, you're a sinner. Alongside the day, two are we together in a celebration. 